Hey everybody, welcome to another Paint the Edge Up, where I teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour and I get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel and today we are painting the Affectionauts. Oh, it's just adorable. Um, but this is just cool, you know. Astronauts. Love. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to teach you step by step how to make this painting. Uh, before I get to that, please like, share, follow, subscribe. It's got links up here. Um, I've got some shot glasses for sale. If you'd like to buy a little paint the edge off shot glass, I got one. Um, and, um, you know, uh, if you want to make donations, that's cool too. I don't make any money from this. So uh, all that's appreciated. And like always, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting. All you got to do is correctly answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments, and I will send you a free painting of your choice. Okay. What you'll need for this painting today is you will need a canvas. Okay, if you don't have an easel, you can just lay your canvas down on the table or something. That's fine, too. Um, but, um, yeah, easel, canvas. I'm using 16 by 20. Um, but feel free to use whatever size you want, okay? I've also got paper towels. I've got a water cup, okay? Acrylic paint needs some water to mix in with it, okay? I've got a blow dryer. It helps me dry my painting fast. I've got whiskey. I've got uh, paper plates for my palette. Uh, feel free to use different things for your palette. I just like paper plates because they're easy and cheap. I've also got a couple pieces of chalk. Okay, that's just regular sidewalk chalk. Nothing's fancy, but you can dry on your painting or draw on your painting with it, uh, and it comes right off. So it's a good little sketching tool. And then I've got my my normal four brushes here. I've got my big flat brush. I've got my uh, medium flat brush. Can you see that? Oh, ooh, there we go. I've got my medium round brush, and I've got my little baby round brush, okay? So those are your four brushes. Take them, bris put them bristle down your water cup anytime you're not using them. Paint colors, not very many. We've just got black, white, raw sienna, and purple, okay? So only four colors, not too bad, all right? So if you've got a few colors, you can make this one just a few colors. So um, there we go, and yeah, let's take a shot and get going. Cheers. Ah. Oh. All right. Uno, shot counts. Okay, let's get painting here. Oh, it's a little ton of lot. Let's move it out. Okay. Uh, what we want to do here is start with our background. So take your plate, grab some raw sienna. Raw sienna is just kind of like a light tan color. Yellow ochre works good too. Take some white paint. All right. And let's get some purple on there. Okay. Easy enough. All right. Let's take our big brush out of our water cup. All right. Tap it off a little bit there. All right. Take your brush. I'm gonna start by stirring uh, just a little bit of this raw sienna with a bunch of white, okay? So I'm to make like a very, very light, creamy color. All right, mix your caramel and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Let's mix up a nice, good amount of that. Good. Let me hold him back. Okay, that's a pretty good color. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's take this color. What we're going to do is we're going to start right in the middle. So if this is our middle, right about there, I'm just going to start dragging out away from the middle. Just start dragging. Drag your brush. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of go out away from the middle. Okay. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. Oh, what's that? No. Is that really somebody? Do you have somebody? Pick me up at the room right now. All right, let's take this out a little ways. I'll be waiting there with my drink. My I'm low key. Okay, so there we go. We're going to get that going. Now we're going to take some purple. We're going to go around the outside and we're going to blend it together. Okay, so go ahead and take your brush. Wash it out. Nice washing. And, you know, uh, we should probably move quick because this is needs to do this while it's still wet, but I'm going to take a little quick shot, okay? So I'm going to take a little quick shot. And um, cheers. So cheers. Okay. 
Let's dose shots. Uh, I'm be a girl. You know what? I'm gonna do something real quick. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's move that there. Let's move this here. There, now we can see our shots a little better. Okay. Okay, that was exciting for everybody, I'm sure. Okay. Alright, let's take our, you know, I've kind of got my gray, my, this is kind of taking a lot of the plate, but here's my purple. I'm going to take a new plate and get some white paint. Just a little bit of white paint. Take my big brush. I'm just going to take a big scoop of my, I'm going to scoop my purple up here. Put it down here. Okay, let's mix this together. Get ourselves just a, just a little bit of white, not a lot, just a little bit of white. Mix it in with your purple, just to lighten it up. A little bit of white goes a long way with that purple. And, um, yeah. We'll take this, we'll go around the outsides. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm not gonna touch the, uh, I'm not gonna really touch the um, raw sienna color yet. I'm gonna just get this, all this thick paint on there. Just take a big old scoop and just slop it on there, okay? I already out of, I want to mix up some more already. And boom, that simple. It's it's that easy. Um, but yeah, fill that in. Get a lot of thick paint in here, real thick. We want lots of thick, wet paint. Okay, we want to stay wet for a minute so that we can blend. It blends in with our raw sienna color in the middle. Just like so. Hey, there we go. Now let's go ahead. And just kind of take. Now maybe we can take this in a little bit where it's almost touching that. Okay, now here, we're going to go ahead and just start fudging this up, okay? Just fudge it up. Take your brush and just fudge it up. Oh, wow. That's fudged. Oh, that's fudged. Okay, we want to get this a blendage going on. Anytime you see these little rough white marks in there, that's what we're really trying to work on right now. Cover that mess up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. We've, we've got a nice little explosion of color there. Coming out of the middle, mixing it with our purple. Now my paint's starting to dry a little bit in the middle. I can take my brush, dip a little bit of water on there. Not a ton. That might have even been too much, but let's just kind of spread that around. Re-wetting up our paint. Always bring my brush towards the middle and back out of the way, but always aiming at that center of the canvas. All right, here we go. And there we go. Okay, look look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. F, that's crazy. F. Oh, F, that's crazy. There we go. Okay, now, covered up a lot of the space. Now let's go in and, like, really try to Actually get this a little bit more, big longer brush strokes. Really focus on that direction towards the middle of the canvas. Okay, there we go. I can even prop this up a little bit so I can get all the way to the bottom. Oh, I like this song. From my friend's band, The Twos. And, uh, you know, they're pretty dope band. I like this one though, this is a good one. Okay, maybe now I'm gonna take some of my just a little bit more purple all right i'm just gonna get just some purple on my brush not no white mixed in and now what i gonna do is i'm just gonna take this and kind of just dab this in around the outside edges at the tops and bottoms maybe not so much because there's a little more space around the outside this is kind of like coming out in a nice circle it's going to reach the top and bottom before it hits the sides it's science. It's math and science. But you're like, but Joel, I don't paint to do math and science. Well, get over it. Okay, now I'm going to bring this dark color in. Don't have a thing. Alright, okay, okay, look at us. 
Okay, so now it's a little darker on the edges. It's getting lighter in the middle, kind of getting that effect. A little bit more. There we go. Big, long brush strokes. But as you know, I'm always pulling into the middle, okay? I'm not trying to get a lot of the cream color on my brush, so I don't bring that out here again. I just want to kind of bring this up from the edges towards the middle. Okay, now once we've got that, one more thing. Let's wash our brush out really good. And we'll get some of that light, um, core, uh, creamy color again. One more, one more little go with that. I'm not gonna get a ton of this. Let's just get a little bit here. Let's get some of that back on our brush. Know everything. And let's take this here and let's kind of bring this out. Just to give some, a uh, little bit more of that bring some of that light color back that we covered up with some of our purple. Something like that. If I don't drag out too far, I won't get too much purple, but you're inevitably going to get a little purple back on your brush. Just kind of have to combat that with a little bit more of your light color. Hey, there we go. Look at us. Look at us go. God, look at us go. Okay. Pretty good. And let's, um, uh, well, that'll be the first step, our background. Let me paint my side edges, take a shot. We'll blow dry and do the trivia question, okay? How's everybody doing? Do we have a good um, Halloween? Did you have a good Day of the Dead yesterday? Yesterday was Day of the Dead, which I believe is um, from the movie um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I think that movie was so popular with goth kids that they made a whole holiday called Day of the Dead on November 1st, I believe. So there's your history lesson for today. I'm a historian, so that's how that holiday started. Started uh, in the 90s with um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's really just been taken way out of proportion. It's been taken. It's out of control at this point. Okay, cheers. Let's take a shot. Let's blow dry. Let's do a trivia question, okay? What happened? See, there are places in between. Blow dryer's not working. Hey, there we go. Hey, blow dryer. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're all doing well. And, um, hope you had some good, um, holiday fun this weekend. Uh, let's do our trivia question. Uh, uh after we take a shears. Didn't I take three shots already? Pretty sure it's my third shot, but whatever. Okay, today's trivia question. If you want to win a free painting, just uh, guess the trivia question. All right, if you get it right, I'll send you a free painting. Today's trivia question is who would win in a fight to the death? Okay, is it A, Barney? B, Mickey Mouse? C, Dora the Explorer? D, why do we have to focus on violence? E, Blue's Clues, uh, F, Papa Smurf, G, Scooby-Doo, or H, This Is Dumb. All right, that's your trivia question for today. Give it a little guess a Guess, get, oh, it's already pretty much dry. And the edges are still a little wet. Okay, so anyone wants a free painting, give it a guess. Um, let's see. Anybody watching who went to, uh, who'd you go for as Halloween? I didn't have a costume. Well, I went to my parents Monday. It wasn't really supposed to be a Halloween thing, but it got rained out last time, so we had a little cookout. Um, but it was on Halloween, so I said everybody had to dress up, and some people dressed up. A lot of people didn't because they're lame, but 
Um, I dressed up and I didn't really go as anything, but I did find. Um, <laughs> I did dress up, but I just grabbed a wig out of Lacey's closet and like an old shirt or an old weird jacket, and that was my costume. Um, okay, got three guesses. Barney, and it's not even close. So, okay, confidence there from Guthrie. But Guthrie, explain yourself. Now, don't you think that, um, you know, maybe uh, Mickey Mouse and his Disney magic could, you know, fuck Barney up or something? Here's the thing about Barney. He's got those little bitty arms. You could just tip him over, right? You know, Scooby-Doo could just jump on his... Bite him on the head or something, just bring him to the ground. I think as long as you stay away from that big, those big chompers he's got, you'd be okay. But, um, yeah, but you know, it's actually more of a fair fight than you think. It's not as, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's not as, maybe it's not as, it's a little closer than you might think. Guthrie, who's your second place? You know, if it's so, it's not even close, then who'd be the second place? Who's giving Barney the best run for his money? Boom. Background drive. Let's take a shot. Ugh. Guthrie, cheers. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, now we got to um, do the real stuff here. Let's draw in some astronauts and paint those in. What I do is kind of find the middle here, right? This is about the middle. Let's take my trivia question down for a minute. We'll come back to that. Well, today is also National Deviled Eggs Day, so there's some deviled eggs. Um, here's some AI-generated art. Now, this is Mickey Mouse versus Smurfs. This is kind of an abstract, but um, it looks like a pretty long, brutal battle there. There's Smurfs. There's some AI-generated art of Mickey Mouse fighting Smurfs. I typed in Dora fighting Scooby, and it came up with this. I don't, I don't really seem like they're fighting. And also, what's with the skin color? dog but you know that's AI generated art who knows but I do like this one this one's kind of cool actually I did another one I wonder if it's popped up by now no looks like that's all we got for now well those are pretty good ones you know okay let's take our chalk here let's draw where the middle is that's about the middle okay so we want, our, we want two big circles here that are touching right and right around the middle. So let's start here. Let's do a big circle here. I just kind of go, I just kind of keep going till I, till I get a nice circle. Go back and erase the bad lines. Okay, but there's a, a pretty good size one. And I do the this one over here a little bit higher. This is kind of a, call me old fashioned, but uh, I guess I'm imagining a, a guy and girl astronaut okay okay uh all right mom guesses papa smurf okay good guess good guess there we go okay two circles are pretty much the same size though does the one on the left look a little bigger need to make the one on the right a little bigger okay whatever good enough okay there we go. Two astronaut helmets. Okay, uh, let's draw in our little bodies. What I like to do first is start a little rectangle. And actually, what I want to do is I want to move this up. So let's go ahead and draw this right about there. So it's kind of connecting to our astronaut helmet. Lick your finger to erase anything there. Mm -hmm. One there is more straight across. He's kind of angling down a little bit. Uh, okay, let's have a little, I'm gonna have this little kind of come out like a little cone, not a cone, whatever it is. This is gonna be kind of more angled to this, gonna be more angled. 
Right? Right? Let's put their little backpack on. Boom, rectangle. Okay, let's do this over here. Now she's got breasticles, so maybe hers comes out a little bit further. I'm imagining, maybe this collar comes up a little further to the front too. I want them touching there. There we go, something like that. Well, I woke, woke up the rain. rain. And I woke an hour okay, there's that. There's her back. Okay, there's her little pack on the back, backpack. Okay, now shoulders and arms. This could be a little tricky for some people. But um, really, all you gotta do is start with. Um, if you want, you could kind of draw lines first, like this. I would pick about the middle, maybe more towards the back. Right? Something like that. You can start there and then just kind of make a little. Kind of imagine a little uh, harpoon. Not a harpoon. Anchor. Kind of like an anchor. Let's make it a little bigger. Anchor or something else. Alright, continue those down. That's just their little shoulder thing there. Okay, another big. Okay, there we go. Arm coming down. Now the only thing we need to do is draw their hands. Okay, so the, this hand over here, what I would do is just kind of start with the big circle, right? And then what you want to do is kind of make a little thumb. So I have one little line coming out there. Maybe a little, little line coming back. There's that thumb. Okay, and then up here we're just going to draw one finger. Then from there just do a couple Boom. Boom. Okay. And just have that go off the bottom. Now I can kind of erase in there so it's clear where that hand is. Maybe though I'm going to just have that come down like that. Okay, the lady hand. Lady hand. Let's do the same thing. Let's just start with a little circle here. Her hand's right there on her shoulder. And let's have a little, couple of lines coming in like this. A little line across. It's kind of the start of the wrist there. And then you can kind of go, you can kind of go over and down if you want. You got a little lee leeway there with the wrist. And now her hand's a little more cupped in my drawing here, so I'm gonna continue that. So up here, it kind of just comes. To a little point, right? And then I kind of go, wow, wow, wow. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, that's four. That's five fingers. Okay. And lastly, let's go ahead and do their. Let's do their little greater than, less than signs to give them that helmet. We are wanted. Look at that. We did it. We drew it in. Look at us. Just want to know where I want it. Let's take a shot. And again, trivia question. Anyone watching wants to win a, tri wants to win a painting? Today's trivia question is uh, who would win in a fight to the death, okay? Is it Barney, Mickey Mouse, Dora the Explorer? Why do we have to focus on violence? Scooby Doo, Papa Smurf, Blues Clues. Um, this is dumb. That's another option. So yeah, there's your trivia question. Let's add a shot to our shot counter. And um, yeah. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good Halloween. Did you watch any scary movies? Uh, I watched this new movie called Barbarian. It's on HBO Max, it's pretty sweet. And I will say that movie did not disappoint. Um, you know, sometimes horror movies, you're like, oh, okay. It's like more of a mind fuck kind of thing. 
Uh, Barbarian was, uh, starts out, well, I'll just say there's a turn at one point. And uh, it was pretty nuck and futz. It gets pretty bonkers. Let's just say it gets pretty bonkers, okay? All right, let's take our big brush and wash it out. But it was pretty good. Um, that was my one horror movie for like three months because I get scared. <laughs> okay, let's take our plate. Let's get some white and some black. What we want to do is want to start by... We want to... What we want to do is... How do I paint this? So I think I start with gray. and kind of go part by part. Add some lights and some darks and mix them in. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think. Um, again, today's National Deviled Eggs Day. There's some deviled eggs. You know where, you know what you're fighting for there, soldiers, uh, there, fellas and ladies. That's our national day today. Uh, this is supposed to be Dora and Scooby fighting, but instead, this is just a strange... Dora's also missing a hand. She's also missing one of her hands. And what's her little blue magic stuff coming out? She's got a little blue magic stuff that's going into a face on a tree? I don't know, but this is uh, AI generated art here. Uh, here's a, this one. I like this one though. This is Mickey Mouse versus Smurfs, and this is what it came up with. It looks like looks to me like Smurfs are winning. It looks like Smurfs are, but I don't know. There's a lot of blood on the ground. It looks like in that bottom part, but I think the Smurfs are swarming the Mickey. So anyway, that's just some. That's just. Uh, so may I generate our it's a it's a whole thing let's take our big brush out of our water cup we've washed it out let's mix white and black together just a little bit of black honestly let's get our water mixed in though want to mix your water so you don't get any drips all right you don't want to get the drips I've had the drips before it's not fun okay hello hey Sherry long time no see Um, uh, but yeah, what did you guys go for as Halloween? Did you guys do anything fun for Halloween? I actually was working, um, Saturday night, which wasn't actually Halloween night, but a lot of people were celebrating Halloween that night. So I've got a very light, light gray here, okay? So I'm going to fill in some of this. I'm going to start, I'm just going to start at the top here, fill this in, and I'll take some blacks and some whites and lighten it up, darken it up in some areas. Um, but yeah, anyway, Saturday I was working and got home forgot my food at work i was gonna go out and get food and i was like you know what i kind of want to go out do something tonight before i go to bed i'm gonna go out to the bars get a little drink you know see some people just have a beer get some food on dixon street have a beer and then i get down there and i'm like oh yeah it's fucking hell everyone's it was the craziest busiest i was such an idiot i was just like i don't know why i didn't think about it being Halloween, but it was crazy busy. Very busy. But you know, it's funny because I saw a bunch of people and they're all out, you know, dressed up, but it's like the one holiday where there's like, it seems like there's just way more women out than, it's like probably more of a, seems like lots more females like Halloween, you know. They really love dressing up. And I'm sitting there watching these groups of girls, and I'm like, what even is your costume? It's just like kind of like lazy lingerie, kind of like they have some stockings on and just like a kind of revealing shirt or something. But I was like, I don't even know if that's a costume. I think you're just dressing mildly slutty. Um, from the trailer with a ton of kids, took the trick-or-treating. Oh, nice, yeah, a little trick-or-treating. So my friend Alex, he has two kids, and their daughter, their daughter's the older one. She's like four or five. And they've got a little boy, too. And she always decides what they are. For So, Sherry, did you dress up? Did you, um, did you, did you have a costume, too? What was your costume? But anyway, she always picks the, um, my friend's daughter picks their costumes, right? So last year, they were uh, Monsters, Inc., so she's a little girl blue, and then uh, her, she had a little brother was Mikey, the little green alien, you know, green monster with a big eye. And then she, her dad was Sully, that was my friend. 
Um, and then she made her mom be that slug lady. <laughs> uh, and then this year, they go for as Toy Story. So she's like, she's Woody, and her little brother is Buzz Lightyear. And she told her dad, he's Mr. Potato Head. But then she made her mom be the the pig. <laughs> I think it's funny. She always makes her Bob be like the worst character in the movie. Or the most unattractive, I guess. Didn't dress up this year. Usually do. I just not feeling it. What? Come on. Didn't feel it. Well, it's understandable. I dressed up technically. But it wasn't really anything specific. I had this like blonde wig on that I found in um, Lacey's closet. And I found this old... This kind of old sweater, kind of reminded me like a, I don't know, old lady kind of sweater, you know, or jacket kind of thing. And I don't really know what I was supposed to be, but I kind of looked like Kurt Cobain. But uh, I kind of looked like um, the hair was all weird. But I said I was Post Malone's mom. All right, so let's see. I got a darker gray. I mixed some black in with my gray here, so I got a little bit darker gray. Doesn't need to be a ton darker. Let's just kind of go around this bottom edge there on both sides. As the grass became a paper shade of blue. All right, let's bring that all the way up there. Now, I'll go ahead and take my brush. I can kind of scrape some of this off because we don't want a ton of paint on our brush right here. We just want to take our brush, turn on that wide side, and just kind of start blending it in. There we go. There we go. Must be somewhere nice to stay. To stay. Hey, look at that blend. Oh, look, we've blended it in. I think that deserves a shot. But first, let's do the white, though, before it dries. I'm going to wash my brush a little bit. I'm going to get another plate. I'm just going to do a plate for black, plate for white. Uh, um. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know why she picks uh, that stuff for her mom, but it's pretty funny. But yeah, I watched this movie, Barbarian. And you know what's funny is it's directed by a guy who is in the this show called Whitest Kid You Know, which is like a sketch comedy show. I want to say they're Canadian, maybe? I think they're Canadian. Maybe not, but I think they are. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, so let's take white. A little white. White in there. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing. Take the white side of my brush. Brush her in a little bit. And, hey, there we go. Maybe I could take a little bit of white. Do a little wow. Wow. Hey, look at that. Um, now we've got two Pac-Man heads about to eat each other. But yeah, it starts me with Barbarian. It was really crazy. It was a good horror movie, but it was another... The guy who directed it was a guy who was in Whitest Kids You Know, which was like a sketch comedy show. And it was a really cool horror movie, I thought. I thought it was interesting that, like, you know, it's like Jordan Peele made those movies Get Out and Us and Nope. And he's like a horror movie guy now, you know? And he was, was always a comedy guy. So it's interesting these comedy guys are getting into, like, horror so much. That movie was cool. Watch it. It's called Barbarian. Okay. Ha. Huh. Oh, five shots. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my my medium flat brush now. Uh, I might switch back to a big flat in certain areas, but um but yeah. Yeah, we were watching it and uh, I was watching it with my friend because um you know, I don't know. I want to have nightmares. Um, no, but I was watching with my friend. We watched that scary movie, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a little scary. It was a little gory, not too gory. It wasn't, I wouldn't call it like a slasher. But yeah, I like the way it was done. It was a cool movie. Okay, let's take our, our little brush here. Let's get this gray back on here. Same gray we used for the that we started the helmet with. Mm. 
Wow. I was riding on a one track pony. Okay, there we go. There's their little collar. Collar much? Collar, I hardly know her. Okay, let's take some of my dark gray now. Back to that same dark gray I had that I mixed up for the helmet. All right, and um, let's add a little bit of shade. Let's put a little here, maybe towards the front. On this one, maybe towards the back a little bit. You know, and then again, I might scrape my brush off a little bit, maybe wipe some of it off on my plate or on a towel. Now let's kind of go in and kind of lightly brush some of that in. A little bit darker at the bottom. Imagine the light's coming kind of here. Maybe I should make the light coming from the middle. You know, maybe if I thought of that, it'd have been cool, but I didn't. No, wait, you know what? That is what I'm going to do. Okay, let's take white. All right, let's do this. Wow. Look at that. Oh, more white there. There we go. Let me wipe my brush off again and kind of blend this a little bit. There we go. All right, it's a little lighter at the front. You know, I could take a little bit of white too and kind of do the same thing here. Just take a little white, kind of just drag it away from that front spot there. There we go, a little light coming in. Okay, back to the gray, back to our gray. Get that back on my brush. And yeah. What else uh, paid my bills today? Uh, it's the second, so it's bill time. We're gonna just get to repaint all, a lot of this stuff, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and fill her in. Paid my bills. Got some Venmo from my lady for the bills. You know what's weird about Venmo is like you go on there and it's like, it shows you like recent activity from other people you know, which I think is strange. Like, it's like if you could log into your bank account and just look at other people's bank account stuff. Like there's one that I saw and there's this girl that I know and she's just like, she doesn't, she lives in like California or something, but She's just little Miss Party Animal, and she's her life just looks like, you know, a dream. And she's just always on the beach. And she's, uh, you know, she's partying it up with her hot friends and their hot, rich friends out in California. And I'm like, man, what a life, you know? And uh, then I go on Venmo, and it's like, what's her face? Sent her dad, you know, $200 for car insurance and I'm like oh, I didn't need to know that it's not like a big deal it's just kind of weird it's like oh okay well alright I guess now I know about your car payment uh, now for some reason I know your car payment situation with your family that's odd <laughs> so now when I see those pictures of her on the beach I'm like did you pay your dad your car payment? Did you, did you pay your bills yet? I'm just like, man, you must have already paid your dad for your bills. But I think it's weird how Venmo shows you, like, other, people, other people's shit that's not any of your business. Okay, let's take some of my dark gray again. May have to mix some more up. You know, your paint's going to start to dry at some point. You have to get a little bit more. Mix a little more fresh gray. Get some of that fresh gray. Get some of that good, good gray. Get some of that good paint. That farm to table paint, you know? Get some of that, you know, non, you know, uh, man, what's it called where they, the animals are like not abused? It's like happy life. Happy wife? No. Happy, you know, raised. No abuse. Paint. Farm to table. You know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot for that. I'm taking some of my dark gray. Throwing it in here in the bag. Hey, I'm throwing it in the bag. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Maybe I'll put a little bit underneath the arm. That would just make sense, right? Now that just makes sense. 
little shadowy area there. You don't love me, but let me tell you like this. Kaboom! I better take a shot for uh, all the stupid things I've said so far. Hey, if you only win a free painting, today's trivia question is uh, who would win in a fight to the death? Okay, you got Barney. Barney's been guessed, though. Uh, but you can still guess it. Barney, Mickey Mouse, Scooby-Doo, Papa Smurf, Blue's Clues, Dora the Explorer. Uh, this is dumb. Or, you know, why do we have to focus on violence? Okay, back to our painting. Uh, back to our gray, our light gray here. Get her back on your brush. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? All right, gray, fill this sucker in. I'm going to kind of paint over the hand a little bit, but whatever. Stuck in my mental, I never get hit to the height. Uh. Pop that up so I can get all the way to the bottom there. Makes it a little easier for you. Okay, so we'll paint around this little shoulder here. We'll just put the shoulder on top of this later. And if you go a little over the into that shoulder, the arm space, that's okay. Tell you like this. Oh shit, I never added my light color to the other side. Watching all the gossip and I think I seen enough. Okay, now once you got that filled in, then we'll take our dark colors and light colors and blend them in. I didn't put any of the whites on the left side of the body, which I meant to. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a little white. And let's go ahead and put a little white. Let's kind of drag some of this away from the middle. So I'm just going to pull this to the left. Okay. This will give it the effect that there's the light hitting it on the front, or the, the light is coming from here, kind of splashing out on the front of our Affectionauts. Kaboom! Let's go ahead and do it over here too. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there we go. Got some light color on the front. A light's hitting it there. Okay, you're not done with this left side. Let's or this right side. Let's add some of our darker gray back in. This is called rendering. I think I don't know. Is it called rendering? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and put some there because I feel like I'm gonna put some there too. Because you know what, it needs to be a little darker there, right? Okay, while this is wet, let's add uh, some of this here. Just kind of blend that in back here, okay? So we want to make the back here a little darker. <sighs> oh, maybe I could put a little right underneath the arm. A little shadow under the arm. Um, hey, that's looking pretty good. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Uh, cheers. Let's take shots. Okay, take shot. Um, trivia question. We've done that. What else? How have you guys been? How are we doing out there? Everybody doing okay? Having a good Wednesday? <sighs> uh, I'm at eight shots. I know, I know I missed one at the beginning, but whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be petty. I'm not gonna be petty about it. Alright, let's, uh, let's jazz this up, okay? Let's get jazzed, okay? Let's <laughs> let's 
Let's jazz on our painting. Hey, you guys think when jazz musicians like <laughs> you guys think when jazz musicians uh, make like a brand new like jazz you know song or a jazz beat you know or jazz rhythm and then they go oh I just jazzed <laughs> oh this I just jazzed all over that crowd I bet I bet Miles Davis was always going oh yeah I just jazzed Oh God, okay, let's paint this in. Sorry, sorry everybody. Sorry, not sorry. Let's jazz up our painting, okay? Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, let's just jazz it up here, okay? Oh, there's purple left in there. Our background's got some wet purple still. That's a, must be a thick amount of wet or a lot, amount of purple because it's still wet. Um, okay, there's that. Now let's take our dark. Let's take some black here. Mix up. My, my paint's starting to dry. You might even just mix up a new little batch somewhere. If your paint's drying, you know, you can just mix up some more. Because keep trying to use that dry paint. It's going to it's gonna dry faster. It's not going to spread. It's already starting to do that on mine. Okay, let's do a little lines right there. And let's jazz it up. Okay. Let's just jazz it up here, okay? Oh, yeah. There we go. I just jazzed. Yeah, fork. Okay, whatever. Okay, there we go. We, uh, we jazzed. We jazzed on our painting. Let's do, um, uh, let's do a little bit more jazz. <laughs> let's jazz on this part of the painting. Okay, so if there's light coming out, boink. First of all, let's do this. So front of that pack. Dum dum, I'm a big idiot. And then let's go like this. Now it's gonna be confusing there for a minute, but we'll take black later. We'll really outline the back there, okay? Okay, um, let's do the old pack on the old lady pack. Let's do the lady pack over here. Yeah, my paint's drying out. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Let's paint this in. jazz it up. I've got jazz all over my painting. We're gonna... <laughs> oh, God. How'd Miles Davis do tonight? Oh, he did great. He jazzed everywhere. <laughs> Raging clue. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, again, dark color, dark gray, dark gray. Let's do the same thing here. Now, this one I'm not gonna show as much of the top edge, so I just go ahead and just draw that line there, and then this one pretty much straight across. It's a little sliver of the light color showing. Oh, big idiot. I've got a raging clue. Oh shit, okay. I just jazzed might be my favorite new thing. There we go. Notes add a little bit mo shadow here. Now again we'll do the same thing there. There's the back. 
right? Then we'll also add some shadows in right there. We're just gonna, that's gonna be a little, uh, 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 not super defined, kind of ambiguous for a minute. Oh no, I'm gonna be out of whiskey. Oh no, what do I do? Oh no. What do I do? Uh, cheers, everybody. Ugh, okay. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah, right. Ah. Ah. Ugh. Um. My TikTok's getting pretty popular. Um, I think maybe I should start doing some TikTok dances, you know? I'll, I'll make up some TikTok dances if you guys want me to today, if, if that's what you want to see. I'll make some up. I've got... I could probably do them pretty easy. I think I could easily make some TikTok dances. They seem pretty fucking basic. It seems like you just take any basic motion and just kind of pop and lock it a little bit and... Just anything. You could do anything, really, I think. And it could be a TikTok dance. Dances nowadays are pretty stupid. I mean, if we're being honest here, what's it? That's what I'm really trying to teach. And just do that, you know? Um, maybe if you, uh, hey, what's up, Berserker? Uh, Berserker, I was just jazz. I just jazzed on, I just jazzed my painting. I just jazzed all over my painting. Um, hey, I'm thinking I could just make up some new, you know, TikTok dances. Okay, let's just try one TikTok dance, okay? Here's new TikTok dance, everybody. It goes... Okay, you just do that over and over. Um, and that's the new TikTok dance, okay? Spread it around. It's called lasagna on the grill, okay? That's the new TikTok dance. Berserker, you're young. You spread it around with your TikToker friends, okay? Don't worry, I'll make up plenty more. I'll do lots more TikTok dances. Okay, cool. Um, Berserker, today's... I'll, I'll throw the trivia question up in a minute. Let's do these arms. Let's jazz up our arms, okay? I think the most important thing when you're making a TikTok dance is your face. If you just go like... Or if you just mean mug. And stare at the camera. That's probably the most important thing. So, I'll do that on the next one. Okay, we're filling in the arms first with our light gray color. Like they used to. <laughs> but uh, my TikTok's getting pretty popular. <laughs> I have hundreds of followers. That means there's hundreds of people that at any given moment will just follow me to battle. That's how the internet works, right? Okay, there we go. Got our light grays in. Okay, let's take our dark gray. Let's mix up some black with our gray. I've started a new plate here, so I've mixed up some new grays. 
Not that old gray. This is that new, new gray. Let's go ahead and again, we're gonna, now this is our light source coming from the middle. Let's go on the back of the arm. All right, let's draw this little line across. I'm reimagining the uh, shoulder there. A Disney reimagining. Uh, Berserk, I'll put the trivia question up in just a minute, okay? I know you're dying to see it. Um. Oh yeah, we're on the whiskey. I'm at eight. I'm actually at nine whiskey shots, but I didn't, didn't count one at the beginning. And you know, I'm not gonna be petty and go back and be like, just trust me, I took one. Oh, just trust me. I, I took a shot. I promise. Same thing over here. Let's outline the back side of the shoulder and the bottom of the arm. Kaboom. Again, I'll make a little line across with her little shoulder. Um, what's it called? A little shoulder... What's armor called on the shoulder? Oh, Gussie, you know this, right? Like, what do they call that in games? Like, your shoulder arm... Your shoulder armor? Like your... Uh, what's that called? It's called something. Um, okay, now let's add some white. My white! So we're gonna take our black and our white! A my white! It's a my white! Alright, let's add the white in. Let's put that on the front. Alright. Oh man. Uh, pretty pink, pretty pink. Okay, there we go, okay? You know, if you were at a dirty mind, these might look like something beside shoulders, but they're arms and shoulders, okay, people? Clean, get your mind out of the gutter, people. It almost looks like there's two giant arms and shoulders right there. That's all. Okay, uh, next TikTok dance is... Okay. That's the next TikTok dance, okay? Get ready. It's called the, um, uh, the spaghetti salad. All right, call that one's called spaghetti salad. My towels, just the way I like them there. Okay. Hey, uh, today's trivia question, if you want to win a free painting, is who would win in a fight to the death, okay? Barney, Mickey Mouse, um... Blue's Clues, you got Door the Explorer, Scooby Dizzle, Papa Smurf, or is this just dumb? Or is the real answer, why do we have to always go to violence, you know? What is the real answer? You know, I did rather find another good picture though online. Let me find it here. Let me just title it. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Okay, uh, well, anyway, I tried to do something there, and my whole thing just, like, crashed for a second. NBD, that means no big deal. Um, had to start her over. Okay, let's take this shot, everybody. Oh, cheers. Ah. Okay. 
shot nombre nine yeah fist fight to the death um i did some ai art generated that's mickey mouse fighting smurfs that's the image i got for that i typed in door the explorer fighting scooby-doo to ai art generator oh wait it's not gonna work now you know i'm gonna try it again at the risk of fucking my stream up again i'm gonna try one more time uh where is it no no not that one How's about? where is it bow 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 hee hee uh 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 well, I don't know where it is, but anyway, I had another one. E. Uh uh. Uh uh uh. Sorry, now this is a thrilling to watch me look through my computer. Anywho, I had another one of uh, Dora the Explorer and Scooby Dizzle. That's what I call him, Scooby Dizzle. Um, but I don't know where it is. Got too many pictures in here. Way too many pictures. Way too many pictures. I can't even find it. Whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Dory ain't winning no fist fight. Well, it doesn't have to be a fist fight. It's just a fight to the death, you know? So, whatever happens, happens, you know? Like, look at this blow dried a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Hey. Hey, Guthrie, <laughs> what do these look like? <laughs> what do those look like? Shoulders and arms. We're almost there. We've got a little bit left. Um, let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, uh, just let me know when you want to see another TikTok dance, okay? Alright, let's take, um, our chalk. Um... You're going with Scooby-Doo? Okay, good. No one's guessed that yet. Okay, so let's again, let's draw in our little hands here. Okay, so here's our, let's draw a circle. All right, let's start with a circle. And let's draw, you know, here's a little finger, a little thumb. And then, you know, we'll kind of have a little finger there. And then one, two, there we go. Close, good enough. Okay, good enough. Maybe I should make it come in a little bit. Kind of see. Yeah. Mm. Shit. Whatever, we'll come back. Well, I don't even care anymore. Okay, let's put one here. Hands. Hands. Alright, thummy boy. Thummy. Thummies. Uh, this one I'm gonna make a little, kind of little cone coming out, right? And just whatever, right? Okay, there's that. Uh, come in. There's a little. Let's just curve that off. I'll make a little line right there. Can't see it very well, but phone down. Okay. All right, let's go back through this the same way we did every other friggin' part of this. Start with our light gray. I can make it put your phone down. Leave it at the crib and guarantee you wouldn't miss it. I can make it put your phone down. All right, here we go. Shit, that might be a little too. Okay, fill this in. 
It's a little too dark anyway. I need to make it a little lighter. Your mama probably think you out there missing. I can make you put your phone down. I can make you, I can make you, I can make you put your phone down. All right. Put your phone down. I can make you, I can make you, I can make you put your phone down. There we go. Okay. So I'm just filling in this, you know, the, how I had it drawn. All right. Kaboom. Um, as you paint, make sure you say kaboom. Kaboom is very important. Okay. Let's fill this sucker in. Okay, not the best hand, but no, it's not bad. No, it's, it'll work. No, it's all right. Okay, so now um, you say Scooby. Now my other other viewer there, Ga three Ga three, Ga three. He said it was Barney, and it's not even close. So I'd like to hear your uh, rebuttal. Your uh, I'd like to hear your argument because I would say with Barney, he's all top heavy. And he's, you know, his arms, he's got no arms, basically. You just topple him over, right? He's got to stay away from those big chompers. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it now. We've got it uh, filled in. Now let's take our, our dark color. Let's take our dark gray, some black. Mix some black in there with your gray. Um, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, what do we do here? Okay, so again, if we kind of start with, you know, maybe where the knuckles are, right? They're kind of that, boom, they're they kind of start that little square, that little circle space. That's kind of how you know where everything's at, right? Maybe make a couple little rough little marks like that, right? And then we definitely want to put some little shading on the this side of the, the arm and the wrist because that's the away from the light source. Kaboom, kaboom. Little thing like that for like a little glove type, type thing. Okay, then I want to outline the underside or the left side of all the fingers, right? Tell him how I feel. Close enough, you know? Something like that, right? Hey. It looks a little strange. You know, we're gonna go with black and white at the end. We'll put some highlights and some, we'll outline some stuff. It'll make a lot more sense later. This one, you know, here's kind of look. Here's the, let's just shade this side of the hand. Hey, look at that. We did it. Uh, quite simple, really. Scooby, aka Great Dane, one of the biggest dog breeds going, going. He just launches on Barney's throat, and there's nothing he can do to stop him. I think Barney could thrash around, you know, and all he's got to do is thrash around a little bit and then catch Scooby one time with his chompers and take a big chunk out of him. So I don't know if it's as, um, you know, one sided as you may think, but I do, I do like your. Um, defense there of your your pick. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah, you're right though. He is a giant Great Dane. Here's what you gotta remember though. Aren't Smurfs like magic or something? Don't they have some kind of magic power? I guess they assume they do. What about Blue's Clues, huh? He may seem like just a simple little dog, but he's got a dark side. Scooby tracks. He's a detective, okay? Scoob, or sorry, Blue's Clues is a detective. I guess Scooby-Doo is too. But Blue's Clues is more of a detective. Like, Scooby-Doo is a detective, but Blue's Clues is like a real detective. He's like, he's, 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 you know, going to the 
the deep darks parts of the city and he's fucking people up to find out information okay that's the part they don't show you Steve just you know is in the house oh where's blue who knows he's out busting heads finding information out okay cheers Cheers. Ugh. Okay, now we got another guest for uh, Mickey. And now his evidence is saying uh, if you watch that South Park about the Jonas Brothers, Mickey Mouse fucks people up. And that's true. Mickey Mouse is a hard motherfucker. That's what they don't show you on the Disney Channel. On the Disney Channel, they don't show you what a hard motherfucker he is. Okay, now we're down to we're down to our final steps, the whites and the blacks here. And Mickey don't play. <laughs> Mickey don't play. All right, now we're just we're down to our final steps, okay? We're just going to jazz it up, okay? All right, I'm just going to we're just we're going to jazz all over our painting, okay? Oh yeah, I just jazzed. All right, let's start with black. Let's fill these little visors in. Now you want to be real precise here, okay? Don't fuck this up, okay? And if you're worried, just think about the nerves, you know, and think, hey, I don't want to fuck this up. You know, really get tense. What you want to do is get real tense. And that, and then you'll stay focused. You'll just stay focused. Just don't think about how intense and how one shot at this you got, kind of. And what a bitch it is to try to, like, if you mess up, you gotta, like, wait for it to dry, repaint this, repaint that, cover it up, then try again. If you mess up again, you gotta do it all over again. Don't think about that, okay? Just, just remember how much is riding on this. One couple brush strokes. And just nail it, okay? It's not that hard. Just nail it. Alright? That's all you gotta do. Well, day in, and day out, oh shit, I better take my trivia question. <sighs> Ooh, Mickey. Okay. Mick, uh, Mick, are you picking Mickey because your name's Mick? Uh, Berserker says Mickey a bitch. What you gotta say to that, huh, Mick? It's weird that I'm, def I'm talking about Mickey and your name is Mick. It's making it complicated for me. I'm getting confused. Okay. Don't worry. Just go for it. Just don't fuck it up, okay? Just don't fuck this up. I do you want these to touch, though? Just don't fuck this up. Mick says, put that purity ring on. Hua? Are you saying hoo ha or hua? Like a hua. Like how Frank Reynolds says whore. Hua. Hoor. Mick says that Mickey sound. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. As soon as you said the Mickey sound, I knew exactly what you were talking about. Mick, what are you doing tonight? Let's, let's hang out. I need friends. Uh, side note, my lady's out of town. I got the whole place to myself. I'm just going to be, you know, getting beer and hookers and... Yeah, someone sounded like that ain't winning against no Scooby. Yeah, but Scooby did also sound pretty stupid, so... Y your logic eats itself, okay? Your logic, it, it eats itself, okay? It defies itself. Okay, now all you gotta do at this part is just don't 
think about the nerves. Okay? You ever afraid that you're gonna mess this up because of the nerves? Just think about that. Or actually just don't think about it. But think about not thinking about it. That's always my advice. Thinking about not thinking about it. Okay, look, there we did. We did the... Oh, hers is like way bigger. Shit. Well, you know what? Um, I guess... Fuck, I gotta make his... Alright, let's do... Alright. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna fix this. I'm still gonna fix it, even though I'm hammered. Sounds like an alpha to me. Apex predator, my G. <laughs> Scooby will fuck off for a Scooby snack. True. That is so true. Your best strategy if you're fighting Scooby is to just throw a Scooby snack out. And he's going to be like, oh, boo. And he'll just like disappear into the woods. And then you come up behind him and just crack him over the skull with a anything, I guess. Right, make that visor a little bigger there. Shit, whatever. Hey, look at that. We did it. Okay, something like that. I'm gonna fuck. Stop where I fuck it up. Um, nah, he will rip your throat out for that Scooby snack. But if you throw it, he's he's too focused on that, okay? <sighs> Alright, let's take one more shot. Again, here's the uh, AI-generated art of Mickey Mouse fighting a bunch of Smurfs. Uh. That's pretty much uh, pretty abstract. Hey, also, uh, you know, today's National Deviled Eggs Day, okay? So, here's some DE, as we call it in the biz. DE, that's deviled eggs. Cheers. finish this up let's finish this shit up okay all right uh, here's what we're gonna do everybody we're gonna finish this shit up all right uh let's take our medium flat brush get it nice and washed out black paint stir that water in scrape some off lay it down nice and flat pull it through flip it over pull it through ba boom flat brush all right, let's outline our darks. Here we go. Let's really think about this. Fuck me! Fucking drips. Dripping ass. Bullshit. Okay. Didn't wash, mix my water in enough. Awesome. Whatever, I don't care. I suddenly got very angry. I don't know why. I think I looked at the time. And I thought, holy shit. I gotta get this over with before I pass out from me. Too hammered. Okay. Boom. Black. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Alright. Kaboom. Kaboom. We got another kaboom there. Maybe a little kaboom there. Okay, let's kaboom this. Hey, consider it kaboomed. <laughs> Alright, let's really start drawing, okay? Let's just draw it up. Think of your paintbrush as a pencil. Just let it go. Let it all go. Let it all go at this point. 
Unless you want to make a good painting. I'm not concerned with that, but... I'm trying to make a good painting, you know, try, I guess. All right, now here's my hands, right? So I look ma, no hand, I look ma, no hand. Look at that. Now we're gonna sit here and try to make a little line there. Okay, I didn't really explain this, but, you know, just outlining little, very thin lines here, outlining the left sides of each of these imaginary fingers and like a little line across for where kind of knuckles would be, okay? That's what I'm doing, okay? Get over it, okay? It's not even, it's all about you, okay? Sometimes it's just not about you, okay? So just get over it, all right? This is the part of the program where I attack nobody in particular particular right on schedule okay let's bring some black in here so like darken some of this up okay back here there's no light hitting this this is a real shadowy area here definitely in this bitch let's shadow this up now I don't have a ton of paint I'm trying to use on this dry effect to give it some texture Ooh, on the blubber side. Oh, blubber. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll see you. On the blubber side. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Now, whites. Whites. Oh, man. I'm so glad you have me after you asked about my cat. Philip? Philip? Philip, come here. Philip? Fill up. I'm gonna get my cat in here. Fill up. Fill up. Uh, you, come here, Rant. Come on, Rant. Okay, come here, Rant. You're, you're cool, too. Rant, come here. This is my dog, Rant. Come here, Rant. Oh, yes. Oh, he's a much. He's a perfect. Come here. Come oh, yeah. Rant, go get Philip. Go get Philip. Go get him. He runs off like he's gonna do something. He has no idea. Grant, get him. Go get Philip. Get Philip. He's in there looking around for him. He has no idea where Philip is. Uh. Philip. Philip. Come here, Philip. Come here, Philip. Come here, Philip. I'm gonna go get him. Everyone just wait, okay? I'm gonna go get Philip. Philip, what are you doing? What are you doing in here? What are you doing? Come here. Good boy, Rant. Good boy, Rant. Yeah, you're being a good boy. Oh shit. Here's Philip. Philip, show everybody your one eye that you have now. Philip, come on. Okay, all right. Ow. Okay, well. All right. Philip, but wait. Here, just wait, though. But Philip, just wait. Look, he's got one. Well, Philip, just look at the camera. Look, Philip. You won't do it, will you? Oh, Philip. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 
Well, anyway, he's doing good. He's doing fine. He looks a lot better than his eye taken out. What? I just wanted to pet you. He didn't like that. I don't think he liked that. But hey, you know what? Um, yeah, you scratched me up pretty good there. I think he was more just like sleeping and I woke him up. So anyway, let's take some white paint. Okay, let's take white paint. Uh, okay, let's outline some of these uh, front spots, especially. Lights coming from the front, basically from the middle of the canvas out. All right, so again, it's gonna come into play a lot on these hands. So definitely on so I mean, not, not, I wouldn't go far into this, but just maybe on the ones where it's right there. Definitely there. Definitely the front of this arm. That's pretty good. Okay. You know, let's take a little flat. A little flat here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, oh, you know, let's maybe put a little flat up here. My cat scratched me up real good there. My shoulders are just scratched up. I'm allergic to them too, which doesn't make it any better. You'd be surprised, but being allergic to a cat doesn't make it any better. Okay, um, now, here we go. Lastly, here's our final big ol' nice final detail. This is gonna really bring it all together here, okay? Make sure you really wash out your big brush. And I'm gonna get it started on my white paint here. Get just white paint. Stir in that water. Get a nice flat brush, flip it over a few times. Get a nice, even, flat layer of white. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a little highlight on the visors, okay? Here's what I wanna do. Is Right? Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna drag down, lift off. Kaboom. Well, you know, we sure did learn a lot today. Um, congratulations to everyone that um, played along. I'm gonna take some white paint. Let's, let's sign our painting. Kaboom. Let's paint the bottom edge purple because that's what I painted the other edges. And then let's reveal the, the real trivia winner, okay? Um, so again, today's trivia question was, who would win in a, in a fight to the death? Okay, uh, now the true question here is, you know, what would actually happen if you got these people in a room and you said, okay, fight to the death, right? Who would survive? You know what would happen? The true answer is D. Why do we have to resort to violence? Okay, all these dumb, lame characters, they'd be like, they'd end up just like loving each other. And it'd be like, fuck you guys, you know, and they wouldn't fight. So that's the correct answer, but you know, um, no one guessed it, so I guess everyone wins who guessed. So Mick wins, Guthrie wins, my mother wins, Sherry wins. Uh, Berserker wins. Everyone wins. Honestly, if you got them all together, they would just, like, 
hug each other and they jazz all over each other. They just jazz it up. Just like we did today. We jazzed up our painting. Uh, we did. We chose violence. You're right. We chose violence. Well, that's the painting for today. Um, hope everybody had a good time and um, happy uh, day after the Day of the Dead and um, happy not Halloween anymore and um, happy Wednesday and happy day after Tuesday, happy day before Thursday, happy um, Deviled Eggs Day, happy November 2nd Day. Happy Ohio Day. It's also Ohio Day today. And um, thanks, K. Love you. Bye. I'll talk to you later.